and arms trafficking. The Security Council called on the Secretary General to submit a joint report by UNODC to join the lecture series and I am currently addressing the transnational organized crime and terrorism linkages. As I conclude, to organize these annual lectures in memory of John, you are creating a culture of gratitude to people who serve and sacrifice. It is not good for a country to have a culture of forgetting somebody has died and forget about him or her. So it's very good that you you organize, you organize this annual lecture. Because dying, all of us are going to die. The question is, how do you die? Do you die doing a, a good thing or a bad thing? 2,000 years ago, there was, there was uh, Jesus. He died. He died at a young age of 33 years. But now, even me, the son of Kaluta is also a Christian. <laughs> Following a man who was killed wrongly by bad people, by the Pharisees, Pharisees who didn't want the, the truth. And in the presence of a cowardly governor called Pontius Pilate. That man was a coward, Pontius Pilate. Because he told these people, I don't see anything wrong with this man. Then he says, no, no, you hang him, you hang him. He said, okay, Let you hang him, I wash my hands. Now, what sort of leader are you, Pontius? But now, all of those are dead and have been long dead. Jesus, Jesus died, Pontius Pilate died, the Pharisees died. The, 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 there was a man called Kayafa. Kayafa was the chief priest, the one who was pushing, pushing, pushing. Died long ago, they all died. But the difference is that we remember Jesus because he died on the side of justice, on the side of the truth. So this is exactly what is happening here. We are remembering John because she stood for, for the truth. Some of, those who, some of those who killed her are already dead. Those who have killed them in, in, in Congo. The, the, the problem with us, if you are, if you are still armed, we kill you, even if you are still a suspect. To <laughs> be a good suspect, come out and surrender. If they come out and surrender from the forest in Congo, then they will have the chance to enjoy the temporary status of suspects, which they did, which the, the law gives them. But in order for, our, for us to strengthen our country, it should also be a culture not to remember the people who died on the, on the, on the coast of Britain, but support their families. Because what can cause cowardice? For somebody to say, ah, if I die, my family will be forgotten. I still 
Dank, Herr Tschudel. Willkommen, Herr Tschudel. Willkommen, Herr Tschudel. Schau, Herr Tschudel. Und Herr Tschudel. So, das bedeutet, dass du, wir, die überleben, müssen nach der Familie und den Kühlpunkt, die überleben, 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 And this has been the country of the NRM. When we came from the bush, we didn't have money. But you remember, I don't know what they know, we built army schools, army secondary schools, army primary schools, where the children of soldiers and of the veterans were studying free. We must have had with them Nakasowa, Masindi, we had Jinja, we had the Kadogo school in Barra, they're still there, some of them. And the idea was, those people, some are still some, some died, but let the institution look after the children of the people who died the patriotism of the people. And I'm glad we looked after the children of, of, of Kalyazi. I, I don't know whether they are here. Where are they? Go and tell these people what way you started. Go on the microphone. You, The children you are two, you are two? Yes, the other two are in Canada currently, studying their undergraduate degree. The one after me, her name is Pearl Kagezi, and she's studying a degree in marketing. And the last born, Harvey John Kagezi, is also studying a degree in a bachelor undergraduate bachelor's degree in business in Canada as well. That's her name. She's called Lydia Mugambe. That, that guy is the one who kept informing me about these children. I don't know whether she's here. She's still in the judiciary. Huh? She's still in the judiciary. Uh, the, that one was also. Uh, she is the daughter of my schoolmate, Professor Mugambe, who was uh, a nuclear physicist. But she kept, I think she was connected with this. She knew this children and she kept informing me. So, therefore, the two sides, the resistance by the freedom fighter. Kajesi is a freedom fighter. She died as a freedom fighter. The resistance by the freedom fighters. But also the struggle supporting the children of the freedom fighters. So that they don't regret, they don't say, if my father had not died, if my mother had not died, I would have done this and that and that. When the freedom fighter dies, you who are behind you must take control of the children so that they succeed. Now finally, the to avenge is to avenge the death of our people who are killed. Uh, and, that, and that's what we are doing. We are doing, we have the suspects, we have the suspects. <laughs> we shall not have revenge on them, but we, we have them. But our, our friend Magambo has not, I remember I, I, I was participating in the in the, in the hand of these people, but Magamo, I remember this people are saying they were sent by some people. 
because of the Impiso, Impiso, because of the small injection, and then the other thing I'm going to say is, na kwato mo shaho utu ampaji. Meaning, I'm still tagging in my pocket and then ask me what will I give you. <laughs> so this is just the beginning of solving our our welfare issues. But the way you can, the general tactics I want to teach you is to decide when to do what. But when I was with the CJ recently at the new building of the high of the of the courts, the new building two of them, I pointed out that you see we the Bayeka, the guerrillas, we have the tactics of managing scarcity. Well, that's what we did. That's what we did. When you are budgeting, and I will invite the, the, the speaker, I will invite the CEO, we look at the whole budget together. Because there is nothing to, to hide. There is no reason why the community should hide there with the budget and then come to parallel to the briefcase by the Minister of Finance. No. Just, just the theatre, as if you are acting. You should all come and receive. I will invite the, the speaker, the senior, you now we see. And, and uh, all the other people can, can, can be involved. You, you, what, the way we manage, like for instance, the, the, the multi-story buildings, of the courts, which were, which were just commissioned. These were built 100% by the Uganda government money. Now, and that's where the, the, the Ukonyu is. Some of the demands, especially the capital demands, need a one-time expenditure. continue, but continue now, 
education of the project with the land for the family. This is, this is the vehicle I would like to teach you to use. The guerrilla tactics, how you manage. Because if you try to do everything at the same time, you, 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 you fail. That was part of the problem. So, don't misunderstand this. This tactic so Go stop, go stop is not that we, don't, we, we are not aware of what is needed. It is a question of how you manage it. and you get growth. Because once the family has this year paid for the land, although the child has missed two years to go to university, but the family now has got what they did not have. They have the land now. The family has got a new base, has got a higher base, than, than previous. Then you can come back to the current. And then after some years, you have something else. So, so therefore, don't, 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 we are very happy we are moving well. The, the country, the economy is growing, and we're growing faster. What we are planning to do. President of the Republic of Uganda. 